find my notes. Last session, uh, we picked up with everybody going to bed properly. Um, while everybody was resting, Alessandra had a, a dream vision thing with Callie. Uh, it was noted as cute, but suspicious. Um, you know, I had a interesting conversation with a mask, uh, and it has thus transformed from its fox shape to the... Actually, I don't remember if it physically changed. It did. Okay. It's like the, the crying, laughing mask uh, yeah. at the moment. Apparently, it's comedy half... Comedy tragedy. Yeah, yeah comedy tragedy, mm -hmm. like split in half, basically. Uh, technically, that was... Well, yeah. Mm. Uh, I was going to say, that was the... That night when everybody slept is when that Christmas special happened. <laughs> we kind of picked up before things. Uh, but Christmas special, already recapped last week, happened. We woke up the next morning. Um, Kish spoke with her father, um, kind of explaining what we were kind of going to be up to. Um, we Everybody gathered, yeah. Uh, everybody gathered in like the dining area. Breakfast was made. Um, let's see. Uh, we, Ina tried to interrogate the monk, but he had a magic cyanide tattoo that killed him. Uh, I chatted with him or interrogated him, but yeah, true, <laughs> true. Uh, Gil had to bribe a man not to talk about the murder that happened outside of Kish's house. Uh, and he <laughs> dug around in the corpse a bit before hiding it, found some gold, found a necklace and a doll that looked like Kish's father, but nothing really came of that. Um, somebody came back to town, or somebody came from in town, I think it was like one of the guards or something, mm -hmm. to let Kish's father know, but Ina took the message on his behalf that some people were up to some shit in the sewers. Uh, because and since we didn't really have anywhere to go, any leads to follow, we're like, well, that's as good a lead as any. Uh, so we went down into the sewers uh, looking for these miscreants. Found a lot of rats. Found a lot of mimics. Mm. A, a gentlemanly rat, uh, or whatever the fuck that big thing was. Uh, we dispatched them post haste, uh, and uh, Gil and Alessandra found presumably the three people that were mentioned um, were Kish's asshole bullies, uh, and we saved them, and they weren't super grateful. So uh, Gil intimidated one into pissing himself uh, while mentioning not to bother Kish anymore. Uh, and we kind of ended things after that fight. So we're still down in the sewers. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. I'm not sure if I missed it, but I think he conveniently uh, left out the fact that they're drug dealers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yeah, you left out that yeah. Kish is cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Sorry. Ad addendum, Kish is cool as fuck. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, um, so as per tradition, uh, we rejoin the party exactly where it left off. Um, by now... Uh, let's see. Uh, Kish would have also caught up because I imagine that you would be heading in that direction after that room was clear, Kish. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Thought as much. Um, there we go. Uh, Rin also poofs next to Ina. Um, <laughs> following <laughs> being not an icicle anymore. Uh, uh, 
Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I remember going to the post office and then meeting you all, and then, yes. Uh, you didn't miss <laughs> No, no, you didn't miss much at all. Rats, you said. Hmm. Uh, yeah, a lot of fucking rats. Too many fucking rats. How long mm -hmm. have they been gone this time? Half an hour? Half an hour? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's very inconvenient. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> not a not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Some human-sized rats who um, aren't <laughs> going to be giving you any more trouble, Kish. I can see that. <sighs> They were giving Kish trouble. It was um, those those assholes that were. Oh, I see. You you mean metaphorical rats in this sentence? Yes. Right. <laughs> Not human-sized actual animals. No, we did kill one of those though. Uh, it was in a hat and like a mask. You did uh, what? It could have been a guy. I, it was really. It's really dark down here. Um, Okay then. <laughs> you just seen you know, it like me and I like say. <laughs> it's what it was. <laughs> Either a human really into rats or a rat rat man. You mean like a were rat? Like a Wait, were so you mean to tell me these three idiots wanted to kill a rat man, essentially? <laughs> Well, How they stupid, were not very good at it being tied up. Yeah. Trust me, I know they, they cannot fight. Right? Honestly, I really don't know what they're doing down here. They didn't seem too keen on talking. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're here. I do not like them. She just says, <laughs> just to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Anybody else want to do anything else? Yes, I was still trying to get out of this guy why he was bullying Kish. Mm -hmm. So, he still looks basically scared out of his mind. Um, big bird puddle of piss, very visible uh, center mass in his trousers. Scare him now with a mask. Uh, I, in the meantime, tell people what we found in the other room, including the rats. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, what have you thought of anything to say, little fox, or do, or what? Uh, well, I'll still, uh, um, so the question I'd asked it was, he's still just unresponsive. Yeah. So he's 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 obviously been scared shitless. Um, shitless. Yeah, pissless. He's obviously been scared pissless. Where? And he's just kind of muttering to himself Where's at the moment looking? more than anything. Um, d dead at Gil. Okay, I will forcefully turn his attention to me by grabbing his face. Okay, yeah, there's no resistance. He just, like, turns and looks. He's quite clearly in a state of shock. I will ask again. Why did you bully her? You you just get some mumbling back as that. I don't. I I swear to I I but I but I I I guess I can't interpret that, can I? <laughs> I mean, if you can, you're a better man than just about anybody. 
I think the adventure is pointless, darling. We got people to save. I had words for him. Well, whatever was to be said, Gil did it already. Come on. We're in a hurry. Fine. And I just... Just, like, let go of him and just push him against the wall. Yeah, he smacks the back of his head against the wall. Um, he just sits slumped straight back down again. He's conscious, though. Or... Mm. Yeah, he's conscious. Oh, well, you piece of shit. Yeah, no, it's not fun. Gish just kind of looks at Gil and is like, What did you do, exactly? I've never seen him this scared in a while. Told him that he'd end up like those rats if he uh, kept messing with you. Well, he did, but. He and I really fucking it meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> of course. Just, um, just as you're about to leave, uh, the tabaxi up here, like, shouts across the room. She goes. He was looking for your sister, you know. That's... that's why we're here. She kind of... <sighs> wants to come a bit closer and she's like... You were looking for my sister. Yes. You see, everybody, everybody thinks that she left town, but she didn't. How would you know? If she left. Because that one over there has been looking for her since rumor of her leaving. Oh, was he? Yeah. Well, didn't seem too successful to me. Clearly not, no. But you want to know why we're here? That's why we're here. Thank you for caring for my sister. Uh, let me just ask this one question. What mm. the hell were you thinking coming in here? When you know how fucking weak you are. You could have died. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care if you don't like me. I don't know why you don't like me. But for the love of God, do not do something so dangerous again. Not alone. Of course he's gotta run down here after her, isn't he? He says he's obsessed with her. Oh, God. Anyway, you need to get out of here. You need oh, to get to believe safety. me. Believe me, I know. We're, we're going. Don't worry. I'll, uh... Well... I'll make sure he doesn't bother you again. And she goes to walk back, and as she does, he she like turns her head and just like says back. She goes, he goes, um, he doesn't really care about your sister, you know. He doesn't give a shit about her. It's you he likes. It's always been you. And she just goes off and helps him up. You can see her look confused for a bit and like, what? Well, that is the completely wrong way to go about it. Oh, well. <laughs> yep. So. Let's continue, darlings. Yeah, get out of here. Love Square. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's just move. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we should go. I don't know if you guys got a proper chance to explore the uh, that room 
that you guys were fighting in. Nah, no. we didn't. <laughs> like, uh, so this is like a dead end. Uh, did anyone look at what the big rat had on him? Or? Uh, no. Well, I take a look if he has anything interesting on him. I mean, he's he's got that cane, um, the the cane that he had, um, and a top hat. Apart from that, he's just a really big rat. Dapper rat. Mm. <laughs> oh well, or he lost an eye, might lose an lose an leg. I shall keep this. She gives the cane. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of character, is Nina trying to like would it hurt herself as... again? <laughs> would it count mm. as a quarter star? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I could use a quarter star. <laughs> well then, yeah. <laughs> I missed that snap. What did what did Little Fox just say? Um, you might look good in that hat, basically. <laughs> I don't I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Not really my style. Mm. All right, let's go. I think so. There was this room. That I know there was like a direct, like going to the right. Was that a mm -hmm. dead end, or was it like a continuation? I don't remember. So yeah, it's it's this is the end of that this bit of sewer way. Basically, there there is more sewers that you could go down, but you would literally just be traversing underneath the city or village. Oh, sorry, I should say. Our, to our room we go then. That we fought in. <laughs> Okay, Koki. Um, that one was. Oh, oh, we on. Just came Let me out copy everybody. We had a report that some people were coming down here, didn't we? Yeah, that was the yes. three days there. Yeah, yeah, we got no other leads for that. So just they were snooping around. Ooh, now we know that Kish's sister's somewhere in town. Well, we don't know. Supposedly. Well, we're not the only ones who think it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And if they thought it, even like without the whole, you know, knowing stuff is shady, knowing things aren't as they're supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lots of charred rats here. Mm. Do -do -do. Right, let's take a look around them. This will do. I should just uh, reveal all the areas here now. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Hello, you two. Double gangers. Uh. Wait, what, what's going on? Oh, okay, that's because I'm not on that tool. Okay, cool. Uh, do, do, well, I do walk in here, but I don't I see the two of them. It really does look like a drug den, doesn't it? Oh, very much that's so. Probably where it's yeah. Yeah. So yeah, in the room that you walk into, uh, Ina, you see like a, a load of like chemical compounds around on like um, uh, shelving units, um, a desk, um, like various kind of like burn marks and things in the desk which is obviously not being done by flame it's more like a sort of chemical burns and things yeah. like that um yeah uh any give... notes because i see books on the oh sorry yeah give me a perception check 20 dirty 20. dirty 20 okay cool um so the notes you can find, like, um, it's like chemical diagram drawings, like, mm -hmm. you know, this amount of chemical, this amount of chemical makes this sort of thing. Any fun things? Just like drawing <laughs> on a, on a page, um, with a dirty 20 you you, you you do see um on the the uh the ch mm -hmm. desk, bleh, the set of shelves here um a 
bottle um, marked with the wording alchemy fire. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeet. <laughs> Yoink. Yoink, yeah, grab that. Uh, the rest of it's just various chemicals which you can Considering choose. Considering I have alchemy, I have alchemist supplies and I'm proficient with them. Mm-hmm. Anything fun I could take and then later I'll mix up. <laughs> Depends what you mean by fun. The rest of this stuff is quite clearly made to make drugs. So if you want to make oh, some fun. drugs later, you know, <laughs> <laughs> take sure. some bottles. Amazing. Already dabbled. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it up. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh. Rolling to see. Yes. Amazing. So I take random assortment of materials for like three, decided by these six, for three patches of something. Okie dokie. So basically, you can make three vials of opium. <laughs> this is a dangerous thing to give in Tina's hands. Make some heroin bombs. Mm hmm. Anything else in like this side of the room? Or is it still just alchemy scrollings? So, yeah, there's more alchemy scrollings and things like right. that. Cool. Yeah, that's all on my end here. Mm hmm. Anybody else? I mean, even before it was revealed, Gil saw a wardrobe, and he's like, I'm gonna go check that shit out. Or if it's just a door, <laughs> then a door. Yeah, so you do, you you open that up, um, and as you do, it's, it's not a door. Um, it is into, like, a, a wardrobe. You can tell, like, it's a fake-backed wardrobe, so you could probably kick that in, whether yeah. you would or not, yeah. No, um, no, absolutely. If, if he clocked that immediately, he's just like, mm, okay. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. So that would literally lead you out to the other side here. So you can see like this, this dirt path here. You can see a load of drawings with this wardrobe this well. And you can see that the, they've marked out sewerways going from here, um, all the way down to, uh, do, 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 do. Eleanor. Hmm. And the, the the route on that is is quite clearly marked. The sewer ways from here to Edinburgh. Hmm. So this area behind it looks just like hand dug. It doesn't look. Does it look like sewer way or does it look? No, no, like no, no, no. This is this is dug, yeah. This is dug out. Yeah. If that's the case, he'd step through and like squeeze his way past mm -hmm. here to see how far he can go. <laughs> so once you get to here, like the the water does start smelling not like a sewer, but like really strong, um, like a, a a kind of burn the inside of your nostrils kind of scent. Sulfuric, I'm something along those lines. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to step in that shit, because... <laughs> mm. Well, noted for now. He'll make his way back inside. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Yeah, I'll go in here and hold my breath, though, because I smelt funky smells earlier. Mm-hmm. So you, do, you you kind of you hold your breath. You walk into the room here, and you can see some of these batches of like, well, basically what you assume to be opium. Um, like there's two here being filled up, the rest of which are empty. Okay. So, drugs everywhere. Cool. check out what's down here mm -hmm. so as you get down to here you see like uh, um, there we go you can see my ping now yeah. you can see this area here which has just got like a couple of those dead rat people in it um, and this, this door is locked shut what's it made of 
um, steel, but it, it's it's really rusted. Right. So, oh shit! I forgot something very important. Mm-hmm. Begins with D and ends in E. Ah, has it got four letters by any chance? It does. Yeah. Completely forgot about that. Um. So, right. What I wanted. Oh, that's the D100. What I want to do is like see if I can like do it, have a well placed like strike. Mhm. Mm against the door and try. Yeah, and... go for it. Oh, oh, too many dice in the same looking bag. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, it's 18. 18. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you, you hit the cage-like door. Uh, roll damage. Nine. Yeah, the lock just kind of disintegrates under your fist and the door swings open. I brush myself off and then, like... Look around in here. Yeah, so again, you see, like, literally two of these, like, dead rat-type people. Um, it looked like it was used as a makeshift holding cell. Right. Um, anything of significance in here? Or is it literally just dead rat people? It's just dead rat people. Nothing on them? That's... Nothing on them at all. Like, it, their possessions have been taken away right. by... You get the idea that, you know, they've probably done something wrong and were being held. Okay, well, I can't speak with dead. So, well, if there's nothing in here, then... What's this thing? Is that just barrels or something? Just two empty barrels, yep. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to risk opening them. Um... Okay. Anybody else? Um, uh, no, you go, Kesha, then. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was wondering about these doors. Are they open or are they They are locked? open. They're open. Okay, so she would go in mm -hmm. and, like, look around. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does the room look like? Or So if you give me a perception check, please. I can see you've got a flying cat friend, whether you like it or not. <laughs> he, he is there. He doesn't care. <laughs> That's an 18. 18. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you have a good look around in here. There is there is various things in here. There is um, a chest over here. Um, there is something which you're, you're not, not quite sure on over here and a table um, with like kind of various papers on it and things like that on the table. Can she read the papers? Yeah, absolutely. So you go over and you have a look at the papers um, and there is a lot of reference um, to uh, Lord Crestwound and a certain amount of um, jars of opium um, coming from here and making its way to Eleanor. Is there anything about uh, the mother? Or is it just about uh, Crestwound? E ev everything is in the name of Lord Crestwound. There's nothing pertaining to, to Lady Crestwound anywhere. And you said over here, it, there's just a box, or is there also something written here? That's, that's, that's a chest over there, yeah. Okay. Um, and I presume that these barrels are just, again, they're just with the... Yeah, they're, they're just empty. And around here, is there anything or just... 
I mean, there there is like various things around here. It looks kind of like what these rat people were eating, which is mainly meats, but you probably wouldn't want to give it a go yourself. They look partially rotten. Uh, and over here, I think it's just... What is this? So on the, the side shelving there, um, you see some types of like liquid in a vial, mainly like murky, it kind of looks like murky water. Okay. And she looks closer at this. You said she wasn't sure what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go and have a look over here. And there's like a pestle and mortar on there and like something being crushed up. Okay. Um, yeah, I think she's just gonna look around and just go back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Um, so as we've been in this sort of area for a few minutes now, um, and all the background noise, is there any noise that stands out more than the others? So obviously if there's chemical reaction, you'll, they'll be bubbling or whatever else. Is there anything that stands out above the general no. background the, noise the, of the, the the only thing odd that you would pick up from a hearing side is like Compared to everything else, so over here, over here, over here, like there being sounds and things like that, there's absolutely no sound coming from up here. Hmm. That's strange. I... Les, I don't hear anything coming from this room. At that point. I... Everywhere else has background noise. This place is silent. Hmm. Well, like over that, like over there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and Les will just kind of point to where she's. We'll go to where she's yeah. pointing and try to take a look. Usually, when there's no noise, that's a good thing. But we'll see if that's the case now. Okay. So you go to open the door. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, the door is locked. Dumb. <laughs> What's the door made out of? Like wood. Well, I could just hammer away at it. To see what's behind here. Um... So I'm proficient in thieves tools, tinker tools, and um, woodworking tools. But I don't know if I ever actually picked up anything. They wrote down that I had them. Hmm. Uh, I know Les doesn't have any thieves tools because she's also proficient in it, but I never got any for her. Mm hmm. I know I. I definitely got woodworking tools because that has allowed me to make little things. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have things like lock picks unless you no, specifically I've got them at the them, beginning. Yeah, just yeah. I happen to be good at them. Mm -hmm. Bored in my time. Or whatever, just like. Mm. Uh, I mean, you could break it down. Has, has anyone got lock picks or anything? I'm not exactly lock picks, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Uh, hang on a sec. Fuck it, because it comes back on a short rest anyway. We'll try it. Mm. Consequences be damned. I have the thing. Uh, uh, Gil's going to walk up to the door. Um, and basically from his, from his uh, pendant or like his necklace, this like kind of purple energy starts to form and then it kind of covers his whole body. Um, 
and he's turned slightly opaque. Uh, and he, I will cast etherealness on myself. Uh, and he will try to step through the door. Okay. You cast etherealness on yourself, and you do indeed step through the door. Uh, now, before the six seconds are up, when he walks through, does it look mm -hmm. like there's a typical like turn lock on the other side, or does it I look see. like so it's when you a... get like partially in? Yeah, yeah. He'll, like, yeah stick he's... his head in and be yeah, like, yeah, "If yeah. I go all the way through, will I be stuck in here, or can I unlock the door from this side?" <laughs> it, it does look like a typical sort of turn lock, i.e., um, you okay, would be able like to bolt. open it from so... that side, but not from the outside. Exactly that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah, he'll step all the way through. Six seconds pass. He becomes fully formed again, and he'll turn the thing and unlock it. Okay. It's open. That was much faster and efficient than the plan open. that I had. You shut the door open. Yeah, and, it out. and I'll stand to the side. Just... <laughs> yeah. So literally, as you start to walk uh, through there. Ina. <laughs> your turn. Your turn. Appear to your side, and she just Hi. says, "It's dangerous in there." How dangerous? Very. Boom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, thanks. Hold on a little bit. Come back out. It, what it do is, what you know, do we see in the room? Yeah, <laughs> what do we yeah. actually see? Yeah. <laughs> so as you get into the room, you see this sort of like weird sort of diagram on the floor, along with like ceremonial candles to to one side. You're not entirely sure what it is, but it looks like some form of ritual or or something is cast in this space. I'm going to take mom's advice, because this all looks like shit I don't understand. Drug <laughs> uh, <Broke> ritual. <laughs> I don't know how you knew it was dangerous in there, but I'm not one to... One could call it divine intervention. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to chalk it up to Mother's Intuition, but okay. I just see what that means. <laughs> uh, looks around the room. Yeah, I look behind the Gil and Les, Gil and Gessler. <laughs> Gil and Les are like, yep, she's around. Yeah, she's here somewhere. Uh, I look behind you guys and I just sort of gesture. And then I yeah, step in. Like, you can see it's not at you, it's at someone behind you. Looking at that spot, like, yeah, it's real slick. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we have here, hmm, Dylan? Uh, she well, just kind of looks at the sigils and stuff. It's definitely something. I would say probably used to entrap somebody or perhaps someone's. Hmm. Pop them into a dimension that isn't this one. Sheridan. Oh. <laughs> Where is he? Sheridan! <laughs> uh, busy with children. Um. <laughs> Alright, that sounds fun. And I try and look at more at the markings if they're like familiar to me, had if I recognize sort of magic or. Mm -hmm. Um, you can give me an arcana check. Mm. Da, 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 da. And that's another dirty 20. <laughs> dirty 20s all around today. Um, yeah. yeah, so you, you kind of look at everything that she's been saying to you and everything, and you can see that this is some sort of like almost like reverse summoning circle. Um, as you're having a look around, Koresh continues and she says, uh, by the looks of it, you need something to put the someone into. 
That does sound familiar. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. Hmm. Do I see anything that could fit that hat, or...? No. Description? Not, no. not around in the room. No. Hmm. Does it look like it was recently used? There is trace elements of mana left as you, you, you've done your arcana check, so it, it's been used semi-recently, but not recently recently. Like, we, it, it could be weeks, possibly even months since it was last used. There's like d just the faintest trace of mana still in the air. What did we do with the necklace, guys? <laughs> I think she had like a necklace to fake mana. She had. Uh, Gil still has it because he pocketed everything. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Gail, darling, you still have that necklace? In the book, Koresh. Huh? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, can I take a look? You can do more than take a look. Here, take the whole thing. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, he'll hand it over. And then he'll walk away and he'll like shake his head like, that was a stupid fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to leaning mm. against the wall. Uh, I must be rubbing off on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Does the necklace react in any way, Hans? Yeah, like so the, the, the. Okay, weird. <laughs> I thought, I thought Kyle was gonna karate chop his mic or something then. No, I, I, ta I tapped it and it started shaking, and I wanted to like get it to be still, right. so my cat, so my cat wouldn't be like toy. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, you you can tell that the necklace is reacting in some sort of way, um, and as soon as you work that out, Koresh says, uh, "You sure you want to do that now?" Got any better ideas, darling? Well, you've been through a lot. And who knows what's going to happen when you do that necklace. And I, for one, think that it might be worth just resting up. Guys, God is telling us to take a nap. <laughs> Uh, doesn't inspire confidence, does it? I know, no. right? <laughs> no. <Nope. sighs> Alright. Are you talking out loud, Ida? You... She would. She doesn't care yeah. about the whole like mental like... thing she is talking no. about. Yeah, it's just... Rin's just like... Who are you talking to, Ida? Koresh? <laughs> if you remember oh. her. <laughs> yes. yes, I did. <laughs> and she is here now. Mm hmm. Oh. Alright then. She. She's almost next to you with how you're standing, Rin. <laughs> I just stands there, like. You see the arms, like. You know, when you want to reach out and, like, yeah. so, like the arms kind of. It's like, no. <laughs> 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 Just like instinctively, like as if you're gonna. Like, no. Please, oh, not goddess. a good idea. <laughs> drop by every now and then. Oh. I for one don't mind. She's still examining the necklace as she's saying that. Oh, not casting or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah. you really fucking do mind. Mm. <sighs> I guess I got lucky. I anyway, what do you want? Well, how is everyone looking? Hans, like, guys, how are you looking? Hurt wise and tired wise. On a, wise. On a scale of <laughs> one to sixty, at about a thirty-three. <laughs> yeah, I'm about a thirty-eight, <laughs> at a sixty-five. <laughs> I'm fresh. I'm not. <laughs> Quick nap or long nap? <laughs> Oops. 
Why, why uh, don't you, why don't you, you know, return back home, have a little rest, have a talk amongst yourselves, come back in the morning. Isn't it like yes, the afternoon? Trying to get the group to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Thank you for your help. Most appreciated. You're welcome. It doesn't mean that I like you, by the way. And she just goes. She's a fucking cinder, eh? <laughs> you will eventually. And she like steps out. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, after a quick chat, apparently it's wise for us to go back, rest up, heal up, and return here afterwards. Which I for one agree with. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna turn down the <laughs> advice of a god. Um, can, I mean, is this place still gonna? I'm not saying I don't trust her, uh, because I do. Uh, no need to smite me. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> uh, is this place, you know, still gonna be here tomorrow? Can we be sure of that? And he starts looking at Salem. What? Why are you looking at me? What? What am I gonna do? Like stay here and watch the place until? You... Oh no! He'll, he'll like turn it. He'll like look past Salem and look at Ina and like raise an eyebrow. As long as he doesn't touch the drugs. <laughs> uh, would I touch the drugs? Yes. Do you remember yes. that. Remember that time in our school? Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Mm -hmm. Careful. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> going on. It's going on Alessandra's list. These, these stories. <sighs> you did touch our wine. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol is a drug. <clears throat> I and a poison. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I choose not to. Anyway, go. Yeah. <sighs> All right, darling. Thank you. She goes and I don't know if Salem's still like ho hovering in the air. Mm-hmm. But she'll uh, uh, give him a kiss at the top of his head, like right in between the ears. Mm -hmm. Thank you, darling. Eh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Should she... Ah. Thank, thank you, Salem. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Salem. <laughs> do, you, do you watch with the doors? What? What? Uh, uh, bar them, just hmm. in case you want to... take something? Uh, <clears throat> He's probably got a bit more self-control than that, right? Don't you say yeah. one? Oh, yeah, I, c I could yeah. do that thing. He yeah. very much knows that if he we takes, can. I'll send him to rehab we'll make him make with it the again, trickster. Right? Uh, he yeah. doesn't want that, right, darling? Uh-huh, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'd be hairless again. <clears throat> or a slug. <laughs> Happened once. Oh. Now that, I would love to see. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, hey, go nuts if you want, Salem. At your own risk. I boop my uh, nose and I go. <laughs> yeah, boop yourself. Hi. <laughs> I just poke his tail. <laughs> He's gonna bite you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> He's just fits him and says, thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Be careful while you're here. I'm always careful. Unless I'm not. <laughs> then I'm not careful. <laughs> Bye! I'm going to have lots of fun not touching the drugs. <laughs> Again, remember our school. <sighs> mm -hmm. How you felt afterwards? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Is he an alcoholic and a drug addict? He is from the Feywild, of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I will not comment. <laughs> Just 
Salem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go. Out of the sewer. Fuck these rats. I hate them. I wanna get out. <laughs> and uh, back to the, the mansion, I take it. Which one? The one where the dad is, dude. Yeah. Like, where else would we go? <laughs> cool. I'm thinking which one it was, but... The Lord's one. Yes. Um, who will be around here. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's he's returned to the house as well. Um, yes, and... Like Seeing as my, my cat is pestering me for food, we may as well take our break here. So, uh, yes, Bye. get drinks, do whatever. <laughs> Come on, in, boy. Fussing Perish. over Fox I love you. time. <laughs> <laughs> is that because I like you or anything? Poof. <laughs> Because I like you or anything. <laughs> you will eventually, Karesh. You will eventually. <laughs> She's oh, just like cool. a she's a valley girl. Mm-hmm. Are there so many tsundere's? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>